casting for this movie. We have obviously film stars Sean Connery as James Bond, Swiss actress Ursula Andress as Honey Ryder, Canadian actor, not Asian actor, Joseph Wiseman as Dr. No. Again, this is the 60s. Ian Fleming himself had suggested his cousin for the role of Dr. No. His cousin happened to be a certain Sir Christopher Lee. Come, come, Mr. Bond, you disappoint me. You get as much fulfillment out of killing as I do, so why didn't you admit it? Who was not selected, of course. What? That is yeah. true. That is true. Wait, 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 wait. Christopher Lee and Ian Fleming are relatives? They're cousins. Yep. And, th and they're both secret agents? Yes. Yep. You what? did not know this? What? No! Yeah. <laughs> they obviously didn't select Christopher Lee to play Dr. No in this film, but of course he does go on later to play Francisco Scaramanga. Seeing him as Dr. That would have been a hell of a splash. Yeah. No like shit, first right? bad guy. To us, Mr. Bond. I'm flattered. I imagine, though, that they wouldn't want the bad guy of their new franchise to be a horror star, right? Like, it might yeah. distract Dracula. from what they're trying to do. Well, he had already started playing Dracula in the Hammer films. I believe so, yes. Because those movies were, like, in the 50s. They look like they're later, but no, they were filmed in the 50s. My complaint about the film is that Dr. No's justification for doing what he does is particularly weak because it doesn't have anything else to reference in terms of like, I'm doing this because Spectre wants it to be yeah. done. They didn't and hire that's me. There, there's, there's nothing more complex to his motivation outside of like, I'm trying to demonstrate Spectre's power. Yeah. Is there not a childish sense to this conversation when, you know, Bond brings up, well, did you try getting a normal job with the East or the West? The Americans are fools. I offered my services, they refused. So did the East. Now they can both pay. He's like, yeah, I applied for the East or the West. <laughs> <laughs> so I became yeah. a supervillain and I want to destroy the world because nobody hired me. I mean, I mean, like I said, that's to, to me, that's the weakness of the film is that like he really doesn't have a really strong justification for doing what he does. And after, after, like, after talking about how Christopher Lee was an option Christopher Lee, I think, could have bring a little bit more actual character to Dr. No himself. Because the guy like this one is like, he overplayed, I think, the sternness, like just the slow talking, messed up on monotonous likeness to him. That said, like, it would be hard for me to imagine Christopher Lee doing anything besides the role of Scaramanga. Yeah. I know I'm, I'm saying that with the benefit of hindsight. Like, obviously, those dudes in 1962 didn't have a f idea what well, Christopher Lee was capable that and, of and but. have and knowing how future Bond villains will be like there can be one's gonna be way more yeah. notable they're gonna have one much more personality like Goldfinger and Blofeld 